Okay, basically your same list of normal to injured guys. Um, nothing really new except for Marquis Simmons. Sorry. After walk through today, um, he had some issues, so he is, we believe as we speak, as on the way out here, he was getting prepped to have his appendix removed, um, and that's most likely happening right now. During practice, um, Demetrius Wright came out with a toe, Mark Taylor, Mark Tyler with a groin, and Kevin Graff with a shoulder sprain. Um, Ronald Johnson, we kind of um, his back's been bothering. He's kind of at that point. He's worked so hard, ran so many routes for us. Um, that he's kind of at that breaking point, so we kind of rested him um, for tomorrow. Um, I thought the defense had a great practice. Um, we have a turnover issue on offense, which we're addressing as we speak, um, because we're not going to win any games if we take care of the ball like we did today. Uh, Marshall Jones, what's his injury? Marshall Jones is uh, is growing. Did, did they, those guys like lose a contest, or was that is this a punishment? No, type no, of thing? no. We got to learn to take care of the ball. You know, we've got um, you know forty. We put the ball at the plus forty to end the day. Had about six series there, and I think we turned the ball around four to six series. So um, we're, we're going to understand that we better take care of the ball. Um, all of us on offense. It's going to be a long year. We saw Brian Bauckham's best practice. Yeah, so yeah, Brian Bauckham and Torrin Harris, both of them, um, which is great to see. And Nikel Roby, you know, had two more big plays, an interception earlier and then a forced fumble. So um, it's great competition. How do you handicap that, that competition? Really early. You know, we've had one real um, scrimmage. So, you know, that position, as I kind of talked about the other day, is probably the scariest position because those guys haven't played and, you know, we're going to limit our tackling. So, Tomorrow and in preseason game three will be very big to figure that out because we're going to need to have it have it figured out you know after preseason game three because there's nothing we're going to see that's going to after that point that will tell us um, how they're going to play in game like situations. What's the primary quality you're looking for in a punt return? Um, that he catches the ball first of all. Um, we want to take take possession of the ball and not give it up. And we want guys that hit it. Um, guys that dance, you know, usually struggle back there because they try to make to take make too many moves. And that's a hard transition from high school to college because in high school, returners take it and they go all over the place and they're better than everybody else. When you get to this level, you got a lot of fast players you're playing against. So and we have to train our guys to do that. We have a very healthy competition back there right now. Um, Dylan's back there. Uh, Sharice, or, uh, Ronald Johnson's back there. Curtis McNeil's back there. And uh, Robert Woods is back there also. So it's a good competition right now back there. Stanley Avili had a yellow jersey on before. Is he nicked up? Yeah, Stanley dislocated his shoulder um, in practice yesterday. We put it back in. Um, he actually jumped back in the drills. We pulled him again at that point, and so um, we put the yellow jersey on him so that he could still practice, but with no contact. Is Ellison going to be moved back there? Well, he's been doing a lot of stuff back there, so um, I feel great about him. Um, he kind of got banged up towards the end, um, as well as knees bothering him and his hips, so um, we need to take care of him, too. Derek Simmons seems to be really taken to end. Uh, what have you seen out of him since you made that move? Yeah, hopefully, you know, we've kind of gotten bigger by making that move, like like Armand playing there instead of inside. Kind of talked about that during spring as we look at this conference. It's changed a little bit. You know, you've got a lot of teams that are really good running teams, and you know, more than ever we're going to need to stop the run. And to have bigger defensive ends obviously helps us do that as opposed to having the, the pass rush and speed rushers that maybe before were better because of all the passing. So um, hopefully Derek can help us out. Has Joe Houston moved ahead in the place kicker? Yeah. Probably. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably say he has, but that, that's still really on the side with not a lot of live rushes. And, um, you know, these next two games will be big. Are you going to have more questions going into the season than you normally have as a head coach just because of the lack of tackling? Yeah, I don't really know if they're questions because I'm not going to have an answer to them, you know. Um, but, yeah, it will because, and also our first year, you know, even though there's film, we've not been in games, you know, except for, I guess, Johnny Morton. Nobody's, nobody's been here with these guys in games. And, you know, it's, it's a lot of times why the first year is the hardest on, on staff as they come in because they don't have a background in who's going to who's gonna be the guys that in the fourth quarter are going to be there for you because you've, you've had experience with them. Um, I thought in Tennessee that we improved throughout the year because of that, just because of our understanding. We made roster changes throughout the year um, based on what was going on as the season went on, playing with guys in crunch time. How have um, Starling and McDonald done so far? 
really well. Um, you know, both guys seem to not make very many mistakes. Very similar. You know, big frame, uh, tall, can run. Both are going to play a lot of special teams for us also. So um, they're going to be a huge role because they probably won't come off the field. Are you concerned about the depth at that position too? Because well, yeah, of the injuries and, yeah, and the with, experience? With Drew being out, um, Byron Moore being, being gone, you know, um, we need some of these young guys to play for us and do some things. And then Marshall has been hurt a lot of time that we've been here. Atlanta had in came out and said that Reggie Bush called him to express remorse you know, about the whole situation. Has he reached out to you at all throughout any of this process? I'm, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna avoid that that subject, and um, I think you guys are gonna know my feelings for Reggie as a player and, and what he did here, um, and, and I'm, I'm moving on. You know, we got too many good things going on here um, with this team and what they're doing this upcoming season, and you know, unfortunately we end up talking about the past a lot, so. We're moving forward.